It's like trying to buy ladybugs to put in your garden. That doesn't work? Mm-mm. No? If they don't like it, they leave. Oh, really? Yeah, you might as well just <laughs> you might as well just plant fennel in your garden because they like fennel and, oh. they're, and they'll come. Are you a gardener? Yes. Really? What yeah. kind of stuff do you grow? Everything. I try, really? I've tried to grow everything. I, I'm great with okra, um, tomatoes. Me and tomatoes have it. And it's not me and the tomatoes. It's the environment. In Texas, in certain areas, I didn't know. Once you garden, you, you learn more about bugs because you have to. Because bugs destroy your goddamn garden. Like a caterpillar, a what in my house? What my house was? So I'm building. I got this garden. Got this. It's like sixty feet of just straight, just vegetables, onions, carrots. Carrots are in the bucket, trying to do them underground. I have okra, squash, celery. Got a lot of stuff out there. Onions, everything. It's a migration of these these worms that come through and they. They trying to nest, turn into whatever moths or whatever they gonna turn into caterpillars. So they come through in like a wave, <clears throat> in like why they at like every, they hanging from the houses everywhere, and they eat your whole goddamn garden up. They eat everything in this in their path besides grass. It's insane. So you go out there one day, you have a perfectly functioning garden, then you go out in the middle of the night, and your shit is nothing. Really. And you like, what the fuck just happened? Then these these it's these little worms that it's a a larva that this certain moth lays on the back of your leaf. And that shit eats all your leaves up out of nowhere. Then it's these then it's snails. You think snails like uh eh, but snails are up. Snails are the worst thing to have in the garden because they're going to destroy this shit. They eat holes through, like, you just start fucking hating insects because you're trying to grow something. And you try not to use pesticides to put chemicals on your food, so you have to get things like ladybugs. Ladybugs kick other insects' ass, and you don't know that. Like, they really? gangsters of the, <laughs> they like, ladybugs are gangsters. And you get them, and it's these particular little haunted wasps that eat, the wor- and eat these worms, and you want drag you want um dragonflies and you want um you want birds you need birds to eat mosquitoes and flies to keep from around your garden but then you got then they're gonna eat some of the ladybugs they, mm. this is a balance this is a whole balance of nature and then you gotta learn how things grow like corn is a freaky is a freaky vegetable it's a freaky starch corn you have to plant it close because it likes bumping up against. That's how it fur like bump up against each other. Okra, not so much. You can plant okra separate because of the how it grows. Cucumbers and squash, they they bud, and then you got to know you can eat the flowers. Of it's all type of shit with gardening, man. And how long you been doing this? Probably, I don't count as a kid because that was my grandmother's garden. So I've been gardening on my own for about, we're going to say about eight years. So is this a trial and error? Like you started off slow? Everything is trial and error when you garden. Because you got to call people. See, this is another thing about um, community. If everybody in your community is growing something, you're going to talk to each other. You're going you're going to talk to each other about growing. Like I, I can go to a place, like if I go to a nursery, I'm gonna ask somebody what they're gonna do with that. Like, what you what you playing with that? Like, how you grow that? I'm I'm gonna ask, and they gonna. Well, what you got going on? I've seen people make relationships out of just trading vegetables. Hey, you grow, you got enough room to grow sweet potatoes. I can grow purple whole peas. Let's 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 switch that out. Let's let's trade that, and then we all can grow cucumbers and all these other things. But for some reason, you the only one having success with the sweet potatoes. So I invest in you growing sweet potatoes. Like I grew watermelon one year, and I thought I was doing pretty good. I had one good watermelon, and like six bad ones. That because I didn't know that you had to put hay up under them once they start growing, or they they can rot 
at the ah. bottom. How I find that out, I call my boy Raphael. He lives in Shreveport, Louisiana. I call him. I say, man, I'm having a hard time with these watermelons. What you doing? Talk to me. And then, <laughs> then we on FaceTime, and he has a grocery store in the back of his. Uh, like, he's been growing for years. So his tomatoes are huge. Like, he got a lot of stuff going on. It's like, it's crazy. Tomatoes taste way better from a garden. Oh, my God. They're, they're not even the same thing. I, I guarantee you. If one day you had time and say, "Hey, let's go to let's go to Shreveport and look, go to Raphael's backyard," you would just sit back there and just eat shit just out, just like just right just off the vine. Just let me wash it off. Yeah, boom. And it's 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 he and I didn't even know how many types of tomatoes there were, even though I love tomatoes. And when you grow them, how they grow, these grow at this time. You, it, it's insane. But when you grow in something. You care a lot about your soil, your and what's in it and how it's growing. And, and do it you tastes, compost? Yes. Do you? Yeah. yeah. And you got to know that you don't want no um, bull manure in there. You just want only cow manure, calf manure. Really? Yeah. What's because it's it's no it's no nutrients in bullshit. What? Really? Mm -mm. Oh, is that why it's bullshit? Yes, yeah, why it's bullshit. Oh, wow. <laughs> But you knew that. No, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, cow, cow manure. If somebody trying to sell you something and it has just cow manure mixed with dirt, that's good. That's good gold. But if they if it got bullshit in it. Oh, that's why it's bullshit. Like. That's why bullshit is bullshit. 